welcome back. We're doing another small brown tour. I haven't done one of these since the summer. Um, I love doing these. I'll link my playlist of all of them down below so you can find some more small businesses. Pretty sure all of these I've never featured on the channel before so hopefully you're in for a treat finding some more small brands to support. Follow me on my social media, subscribe down below and let's get started! The first brand I want to talk about is Clint's. I follow them on Instagram for years now and always been obsessed with their shoes. They do clothing as well which is super cool um, but their shoes are just sick and they just don't really do drops that often. So I looked on Depop to find a pair of their shoes. They actually had quite a few going in different sizes and colorways and I managed to score the brown Clint's. Oh my god. Um, these were like pretty much brand new as well. They came in the box. They came with the little dog tag thing that they all come with as well. I love a chunky shoe and this sole is like perfect. I also love the um, bottom of it. It says Clint's on it. It's going to be so cool like when it snows to be able to like walk um, and see the print of that. Pretty sure they came with plain laces as well but I really like um, these red ones because they reflect in the flash so that's pretty cool. I just love these, they fit really well, super comfy, I think they're sick, they're so easy to style. I am so happy that I found these. And they're a little bit expensive, I think they were like 175 which is pretty much what they are when you get them brand new. But no regrets splurging, they are like my favourite shoe right now, they're my go-to, they go with everything and ah, I'm so happy I got them. They do them in orange, don't even tempt me, don't even tempt me! They're just so well made and they're amazing and I love Clint's. Um, and I love their t-shirts as well, like I've seen the baby blue one on Depop. It's been in my saved for like so long now and I really really want to get it but... Do I need another graphic tee in my life? Maybe not. Next is a jewellery brand called Messy Mind Store. They very kindly sent me some pieces. Oh. I'm obsessed. She's making me live out my like ethereal dream. Firstly, the package that she sent was so adorable. It was filled with like confetti and everything and she sent me this really cute lino print. So, so sweet. So I have one of their three piece sets which comes with the gorgeous, gorgeous necklace. This necklace is insane. Such a beautiful selection of pearls. Like they look insane. Like such a mesmerizing necklace. I feel so gorgeous when I wear this necklace. It's insane. And I love the um, loop detail here. Such a fun little add-on like she's seriously so talented I'll put on screen some of my other favorite pieces of her why do I keep dropping everything and then we have the matching bracelet as well I always forget to wear bracelets I don't know if anyone else is the same like I just forget that they kind of exist so I'm really happy to have this one in my collection I think it looks so good with the necklace and it will just always remind me to like wear them together because I think they look so 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 good together seriously love the collection of pearls that she um, did for the set, so beautiful. And then I also have the matching pearl dangly earrings, such a staple, little dangly pearl earrings like this go with everything. They're just so dainty and gorgeous, can so be dressed up, but also can really be dressed down. They're such a flattering earring, and of course, all together, they're just like the perfect three piece set. I'm um, so happy that Messy Minds reached out to me and gifted me these, they are gorgeous. The next brand is Lucky Seven. Zoe makes such sick pieces, she makes clothing and jewellery, I'm pretty sure maybe she does prints as well. And I picked up her kids takeaway top, this is like the softest fabric ever. Looks so good with some like dark wash, low waisted baggy jeans. Love this, I think it's such a fun piece, like it's so neon and out there, it's just like so fun to style. And I picked this one out in the 5 to 6 years size, so it's super tight on me, but not too tight, like it's the perfect baby tee size, so if you're a similar size to me then I definitely recommend picking this size. But I know that she can do whatever size you want because they're all made to order. She also sells jewellery as well, she does other clothes as well, she also does beanies. And I'm sure she's going to come out with even more cool designs and everything. She has this um, English breakfast tea as well with the matching beanie. So sick. I was really torn between that one and the takeaway one. But, but this one is just so fun. I could not get it. The next brand is Nude Lagoon. They're a vintage like Depop kind of store. But they also sell their own prints. And I picked up these pieces from their pop-up in Vinegar Yard in London. But they sell all of this stuff like online as well. I'll start off with the piece that you can actually get an exact same of because it's one that they like print themselves and it's this screen print on this little black vest it's so 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 sick i kind of got it without really like thinking about it do you know what i mean and then i got home and was like ah am i really gonna wear this i don't really wear sweater vests like as much as i kind of used to but then i wore it once and i got loads of compliments and then i was like yeah 
it is cool. You should keep it. Don't sell it. Um, I love it. It's like a screen print kind of like negative image of somebody's eye. So cool. It's so easy to style because it's black and white. It looks so good with a classic baby tee underneath. Some low-waisted baggy jeans. I wonder what it would look like in the spring as well with nothing under it. Maybe like a contrasting bikini top, loads of layered necklaces. I think that could be kind of fun. Maybe with like a prairie skirt or something. And then it's got the logo on the back, nice and bold. I think it's sick, like, and such a comfy sweater vest as well. I've been wearing it quite a bit recently and I'm actually so happy that I got this. She does the same sort of print in different colors on trousers and other tops as well, I'm pretty sure, which is so sick. Like, she's doing amazing stuff and she's such a lovely girl as well. I had such a nice chat with her when I went to Vinegar Yard. I also picked up a couple pieces from her vintage collection, this one my favorite this is a mesh printed dress so cool i love it it's cow neck i don't really have anything cow neck i don't think um so it's a fun unique piece for my wardrobe i don't really wear dresses as well so i was kind of happy to pick this up take myself out of my comfort zone it's actually got little prints of ballerinas everywhere so 90s so 2000s so fun with cowboy boots i styled this up in my night out lookbook and that's exactly how i'd wear it cowboy boots just a dress a contrasting like bright pink bra and then some like chunky layered jewelry i wore my like crystal rocks ones in the video um i think it looks sick i can't wait for it to get warmer and then i'll definitely be wearing this out properly and then i also tried to see if it would look good as a top and it kind of worked with my cargoes like i think it looks a little bit baggy but I feel like that vibe, you kind of get away with it with this top, so that's super fun. Um, absolutely love this dress. Then from her, very different vibe, I picked up this um, vintage Nike Girls um, puffer thing. It's got like contrasting sleeves, so it kind of looks like you're wearing a vest over a jumper, which I really like. And it's pale yellow, love this colour. So the sleeves are knitted, and then the base is just like a classic puffer. Don't have anything like this in my wardrobe. Have barely worn this out. I think I've worn it like once since getting it. I just don't really know if it suits me. I just feel a bit like, just feel like imposter syndrome when I wear it. I don't really know why. Like, let me know what you think about this. I think it goes with my baggy cargos and kind of like low-waisted baggy jeans where like they don't cross over the trousers too much because it's kind of like a long jacket to be fair, but very 2000s it kind of gives me like you know sleepover club did anyone else watch that it kind of gives me energy of something that one of them would wear i don't really know why um yeah i don't know how i fully feel about this on me per se but i think it's such a sick jacket and i've never seen ones like this before but i really love the knit sleeves that's what kind of like drew me into it but let me know what you think about this one Next we're going to talk about Lola May Cry, they very kindly let me pick out a couple pieces from their Depop. She's so cool, she's hand making clothes from like vintage pieces that already exist. The first one I picked up is such a Paris Hilton moment, it's just this pink baby tee and it says on it, this is your sign from God that I am hot. Like how more Paris Hilton can you get? I love the length of it because it sits perfectly with low waist baggy jeans which I live in. So that's really nice. I think it's going to be so fun to style in the spring and summer as well. So good to like fold up and wear as a crop top. Such a good layering piece, like everyday kind of like chill cami. And I love this hot pink colour. Then my personal favourite from Lola May Cry is this kids like school shirt that she screen printed this Madonna print in gold on the side. I love this top. I love the fit of it. It fits so well. And the print is just like the perfect mix of being like bold and out there but it's quite still like quite a simple top to style like it goes really well with like everything um on the bottom half i love it it's gonna be so fun again in the spring and summer when i don't need a jacket with it like oh i love it it's such a fun piece to wear with accessories as well like ties and beanies and scarves and stuff like i just absolutely love this piece i'm sure she does similar stuff on her depop I'll put some ones on screen. If not, I bet if you, like, reach out to her, she can always make you one like this. I love it. I love me some kids' clothes. So this is perfect, and I cannot thank her enough for sending this to me. Those two pieces are from Lola May Cry. Next, I'm going to show you another accessory. This is from Bex's Bags. She makes the puffy 
bags i saw this on stupid jones and she has it in like the green gingham which i fell in love with and when i saw that she was doing her drop i just knew i was gonna get a green gingham but she didn't do the green gingham in this size which is the size i wanted so i went for the orange one and i'm actually so happy that i got this one i think it was a like collab with somebody else um because it has like a multi-colored floral lining in it which also means it's reversible which is really 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 nice um and i love it i love the size of this one it fits my laptop it's like really good for like a day trip weekend trip where you don't want to bring a rucksack you don't want to bring like a duffel or a suitcase such a good shopping bag as well like if you're going food shopping or going shopping shopping like it's just perfect it's so fun such a like spring summer piece as well i can't wait for us to get out of winter and then i know this with like my prairie skirt such a cute prairie look i love all the bags that bex's bags is doing and she does her drops like every now and again so definitely worth following her on instagram and you can turn on the post notifications and stuff to know when she is like doing her drops next we're going to talk about bees by edie i've been following her for so long and i think her necklaces are gorgeous and when she reached out to me um see if i wanted to pick out a couple pieces i was like whoa this is like so 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 sweet of her and i absolutely love both of them i got she firstly sent me this name necklace one which i love and i love it i love like the little evil eye charms like the colors of it are just so perfect i love the way that it sits on my neck it's so good for layering it's such an easy piece to style as well because of all the colors in the necklace and then she also sent me this gorgeous butterfly one oh my god i'm obsessed with this one it's got pearls all over it and the little green and black butterfly it sits so well on my neck as well it's kind of like a relaxed choker her necklace is so gorgeous and dainty i love so many of her other ones as well up on screen some of my faves they've become part of my everyday simple staple beaded necklaces like they're just so fun to style love these cannot thank her enough for sending them to me i love beads by edie back to some clothes this piece is by celia pop she's a depopper and i saw her come out with this green and brown little shirt and the way that she styled it in the picture just looked amazing and i just really really liked the fit of it and thought it would be kind of a good work shirt for me but also just really nice for some like baggy low waist trousers or some like 90s straight leg kind of tight black trousers for a kind of like officey workwear vibe but not really i think it's such a flattering fit i really like the way that the sleeves are done as well they're kind of like ruched almost which is really nice i don't have anything like that in my wardrobe love the color of this it's kind of like mint chop chip kind of thing i honestly love celia's depop she comes out with such good stuff um she's definitely worth following on instagram as well because she's always doing styling bits on there and everything and I just really, really like this piece. I've just been really into like the tight cropped 90s shirts look at the moment. You can see by like the Lola May Cry top, like that kind of vibe. I'm so here for very 2000s. I've been watching loads of um, Desperate Housewives as well. And I feel like it's something that they'd kind of like wear in the show. So it kind of, <laughs> I don't know, it's probably influencing my fashion choices. But yeah, I love that look. Very 90s, very cute. Would also be really cute with a mini skirt and some tights. That's a look. Next, we're going to talk about Yellow Page, somebody that I've also followed for years. Like, literally one of the first people I followed on Depop. And she reached out to me saying if I want to pick up some pieces. And I was literally so mind blown because I followed this girl for years. And she does a lot of embroidery pieces. Um, and she just makes the cutest things. So my personal favourite that I got from her was this one. It says, I feel sexy embroidered in baby pink. I absolutely love it. It's like the softest fabric as well. Such a comfy baby tee. It literally fits me perfectly. It's much flattering fit as well. Like looks so good with some low-waisted baggy jeans. I wear this all the time, just like lounging around the house. And again, once it gets warmer, like, and I don't have to wear a jacket with this, like wearing this out and about, with some baggy jeans i can't wait it's such a fun tee it kind of gives me paris hilton vibes again that like classic 2000s like logo kind of like thought tops that we're seeing like actually seeing a lot of them on depop at the moment um and i love this one she embroidered it herself i also love her little um tags that she does this one has a little smiley face on it so cute another piece that i picked out from her is this one it really gives me lizzie mcguire vibes so something that i can see her wearing with like a low-waisted skirt or something it gives me such good summer vibes i love it i love the fit of it so nice and super cropped 
literally love this one so 90s and speaking of that i just know it's gonna look so good with the skirt that she also sent me and it's this gorgeous like flowery um yellow kind of like minty green long maxi skirt it's so comfortable fits me so well like just feels so snug it's so something that reminds me of season one buffy like i can so see buffy wearing something like this with some chunky um like flip-flop sandals oh i tried this on with my white corset i think it looks so good and like that in the spring with my cowboy boots and some necklaces oh i just think it's such a cute look um and i can't wait to get out of winter so i can wear this skirt and then last but not least Yellow Page sent me a Miffy top. Like, of course, this girl knows me. She knows that I love Miffy, and it's so cute. It's such a cute little 90s um, muscle tee. I love baby blue. I love the embroidery. It's amazing. I assume that she did this by herself. Like, it's so, so, so sick. It's a little art Miffy. It's so cute. I've been wearing this as, like, a loungewear PJ kind of top as it's just such soft fabric like everything she's given me is so so soft and easy to style oh my god and this tag that's probably my favorite um tag of hers can you see it i don't know if you can see it but it's like a little self-portrait i cannot thank yellow page enough for sending me all of those pieces she's so so sweet okay we're down to our last two brands the first one i'm going to talk about is an accessory and it's from c illustrate and it's her cozy scarf i bought this at arquette the vintage shop in brixton in london um and she sells some of her pieces there and i know that you can still buy on her website i'm pretty sure and it's just the perfect um winter scarf i love it it's kind of like football scarf material and it's got the little tassels i really like this because it's um reversible so you can wear it kind of like the blue and gray side and then you can wear it this side depending on what you're styling it with i love the colors of this and i was just really drawn to it and it's just such a nice piece for winter it goes with so much yeah i really like this and she's so talented very similar colorway to that one is the last piece i'm going to show you and this is from yaku studios i featured stuff by my friend yaku on the channel many times before on his other brand called inside ideas and through inside ideas he does tracksuits and then this t-shirt i've already featured this on my styling video when i styled up my girlfriends and you all really, really like this t-shirt. But it's this design of this person in one of his pieces that he made. And then on the back, it says Yaku in his logo. So, so sick. And this was part of a limited edition drop that he did on his Yaku Studios Insta around the time of his exhibition that he did. So you could only get these and all the other colorways for a limited time. They were all like made to order. So you cannot get this anymore. But if you follow him on Instagram, I know he's going to be coming out with more tops and stuff soon and his prints are just sick like this guy just knows what he's doing he's gonna do amazing big things so definitely worth following i love this top and graphic tees like this are just so easy to style with like long sleeves underneath in the winter layer nexus and baggy jeans also good in summer with like mini skirts and stuff so we love that okay that is everything in the small brands haul this time i hope you guys enjoyed and found some more brands to go and support as always their usernames and instagram links will be in the description subscribe and follow me on my social media to keep up with me and i will see you in my next video